Hi, in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review of Wordplay AI. And for those of you who don't know what Wordplay AI is, it's an AI content writer that specializes in writing long form content very quickly. So quickly, in fact, you probably can do it within a few clicks. No exaggeration. So let me show you what it is and how it looks like. All right, so I spent, went ahead and spent the uh, $100 or like $99 to uh, go ahead and purchase this and let me see all right so right now it's having a op you know, its system is uh, under heavy load right now so it might take a while to get results but I'm gonna go ahead and drive drive ahead and drive on and show you exactly what it has now as you can see right away the interface is very bare bones um, it just basically specializes in creating long-form content and nothing else there's no uh, copy no email none of that stuff like other ai writers and that that's uh, not necessarily a bad thing all right so what you want to do is you want to go to create content here or you can go up here alternatively and create your article so this is going to be your you can go ahead and click your first time or you can go to uh, use a template and then if you go down here uh, you have create new article. So what you do is you can go ahead and manually uh, enter the title with the, your keyword and uh, you know subheading one, subheading two, with so and so uh, title. Now the more you add, the longer it gets, and you can go ahead and add a total of up to eight subheadings. All right, so that's that's uh, that. Let me reset this real quick. What is this? All right, and you can also take a, take that away. Very very simple, easy user interface. And then the bulk creation mode, you would have to go ahead and basically uh, create a CSV and load in all of the titles and um, subheadings for each article. All right, so and then once you upload that, it would go ahead and create all those articles. It's kind of uh, kind of a little bit tricky, but you know. Uh, it's workable, right? And then lastly, this is the cool feature. This is the one I'm pr pretty sure a lot of you will be interested in. At least I was. Um, it's basically AI mode. And what this does is you just simply select the length of uh, how long you want the article to be. You know, whether it's 500, 750 words, or 1,500 uh, words long. That's the max, right? And then from there, you just enter in your, your title and it will you click you click one button or submit and it will go ahead and run the um, it will go ahead and create the article for you so let me go ahead and, and demo that for you uh, I'm gonna go click on 1500 words right and push it to its limit article title I'm just gonna type in uh, let's see how to retire on one hundred thousand dollars on just one hundred thousand dollars. All right, and just I'm just gonna leave it at, at that. And now this project name, I, was, I just I'm gonna put the uh, demo test one. Actually, no, make money online um, for one article. Article one. All right. 100k and then this is this description so these two are internal you know references it's not going to affect the um, title or the content of the the writing right here this is just for reference for you for yourself okay and let me just go ahead and add a description uh, MMO all right so from there I'm gonna click on submit and for <laughs> this is going to be the first time for both of us, so let's see how well it goes. And I'm going to leave it running so you get a feel of uh, roughly how quickly this can go. Oh, I guess it's done. Let, let's see. Oh, no, it's not, it's not done. All right, so I click it, and it's going to be like a little, I guess, um, I guess it's going to be like a delay because of the, the the load right here, but as you can see, to input the article and have it, you know, have the inputs added in. Let me go back real quick. It's um, 
it's pretty easy, especially with the AI mode. Like I didn't really, I just have to pick the length. All right, that's one click. Enter in this, this, and this. All right, that's one, one click, two, three, four, and then after that, click submit. That's five, and then there you go. You, your article is being created now. I'm gonna show you the the results. Um, I'm not gonna let you you know wait all this time because it might take a while. I really wanted you to kind of see how long it would take. Let me let me see. Is it <laughs> is it done anytime? Oh oh okay. There's progress. <laughs> it's moving along. All right. I, I'm still gonna. I'm. I might just go ahead and, and cut out and um, move the video back in and, and and show you what it looks like when it's done. But while we're waiting, I can also show you other stuff too. So all your stuff, all your projects or articles that you've done or submitted will be in here, so you can easily search. Uh, if you want to go ahead and create more content, you can go ahead and do the same thing. I, I like the AI mode, but I got to see the content so far. It, the quality is going to be important. Readability is going to be very important. Then you got my usage. Um, it shows you how how much usage you have. And uh, if you have any failed articles, you won't be charged for that. All right. Then you have add-ons. You have the uh, WordPress add-on, so you can directly you know, publish your or post your your uh, article directly to WordPress if you have that. And then if you need some uh, anything else, you can go ahead and contact customer support. And that's it. it it's very, very bare bones. <laughs> I wish there was more to it. Uh, I, I, I Actually, I don't. I, I kind of like the fact that it is bare bones. Uh, the only thing I would have to say right off the bat is uh, when it comes to creation, content creation, I think this bulk, uh, this bulk creation mode is going to need a little bit more polishing and fine tuning because not everyone's going to be comfortable with uh, you know kind of like creating a CSV file and then entering their their um, you know their their, their titles and, and subheadings for each article and then uploading that to, to this bulk creation system I, I just think it's it's just uh, kind of tedious I think basically they're going to have to switch to something like this where it's a form and you can just go ahead and and fill everything out but uh, so far uh, you got three different modes. Most of you probably will use this one if it works well, and the the demand for this seems very very high. Now that could be just good good marketing, <laughs> or it could be the good product. And I will um, pause this video, and I'm going to show you the results in just a few moments. Okay, that took um, a hot minute. I'm not going to lie; it took a while. It felt like I was processing a video. <laughs> rather than an article, but they did warn me about the system delays. So anyhow, this is what it looks like when it's finally processed. And more importantly, let's see what it looks like and let's see what the quality is. So right here, it, I just generated this line of text and it did the rest, it did the subheadings and it did the paragraphs, content, everything else. Now I'm just gonna read a few lines of this. Uh, so you can get a feel of how readable it is. So how to retire on just $100,000 unless you are a very wealthy person who is planning on spending every waking hour of your life in a retirement home, you've probably wondered how to retire on just $100,000. The following article will teach you the steps you need to take to make your retirement dreams a reality. This article will help you find out which states are the best for retirees, how to calculate your retirement income, and how to plan your financial future. And then it goes into tax-friendly states for retirees. Delaware is among the most tax-friendly states for retirees with no state income tax, no death tax, and very low property tax taxes. This state is a retiree's dream in addition residents of Delaware will be able to enjoy more disposable income in their golden years thanks to the state's zero sales tax. And since it doesn't have a death tax, its residents will benefits, benefit from no local income tax. Another state that is very tax friendly for retirees is New Hampshire. All right. And that, that, that gives you a pretty decent, um, it, it gives you a decent idea of what it, what it sounds like. I'm going to do a quick copy and I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to go into Grammarly Premium and I'm going to go ahead and enter a new document and I'm going to show you, I guess I'm going to use this AI, Grammarly, you know, AI checker to show you, 
and how readable it is using numbers. And then I'm going to show you how unique it is. Oops. I'm just going to keep it at that. Let me get out this H1. Delete this. All right, so overall readability is uh, 91 and has about eight mistakes, a bit unclear, very engaging, slightly off, delivery and style guide is all good. Now, more importantly, let's check for plagiarism because if it is not unique, this is kind of useless. And let's see. Give it a few seconds here. And... Check this. I wonder if I copy it directly, will it, will it have the same error messages? Okay, so it has uh, only 1% of your text matches a certain source. All right, and I just want to see if I can paste this without the. Okay, that works a lot better. So it's 87. Let me uh, go ahead and check for plagi plagiarism again. All right, so it looks like the text is 100% original. Now that that's pretty good. These these, okay, one percent, <laughs> same. I guess it's the same. All right, so that's pretty good though, um, considering that it has an overall 87, you know, score. That, that's quite high. Uh, I see a lot of AIs. Just to give me an example. They they store like 80, some of them 70s, <laughs> and the poor ones go in the 60s. All right, so. All in all, it's readable. Um, is it a bit boring? Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, it is kind of generic. This is a generic kind of uh, article that you would find. Uh, nothing really fancy, but you know, if you were to, I can tell you right off the bat, if you were to go ahead and uh, you know send this article to Fiverr or freelancer on Fiverr, you would get something worse than this, <laughs> and it would be like. 10% unique and 100%, like 90% plagiarized. That's my experience from using freelancers on Fiverr to write articles. It's unreadable. Um, it's uh, it's just poor work, and a lot of time it's 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 delayed. Okay, they they don't give it. To, they don't send you the work on time. That's that's the reason why I, I really jump into AI tools because uh, it, it's just more reliable and the, the quality is getting there. It's getting there. It's not 100% there yet, but but it's getting there. So, um, you know, if you're interested in this uh, AI writer, I would recommend you go ahead and I'll put a link down below. You can go ahead and check it out on AppSumo. It is, as of right now, it is the only place to purchase this. You, you cannot purchase it anywhere else. Um, so I would hurry up before the deal expires. And if you don't like it, you can always re exchange. What was it? You can always, uh, you know, do a... Um, 60 day refund so that, that's very generous and i've tested the refund policy out it is legit it's not, not just me just saying that it, it, or the company just saying that to you know suck you in it, it's actually um a legit you know it's a legit uh refund policy they honor it very well and very quickly you know so uh, it, i think for those of you who who is this for in summary i think this this uh ai uh, article content writer is good is going to be good for people who just want to post blog posts right and they don't want to fiddle around <laughs> with you know and finding a subheading or creating an outline or any of that they just want w w a few clicks if you just want to do a few clicks and you're done you know you don't want to be you know you want to just pop out that content as quickly as you can without any kind of worries with you know and and you want to make sure that the article is at least unique and readable and this is for you now if you want a like who is it not for this is not for people who need uh you know a jack of all trades type of ai something to do with a youtube description or a book or a product description or an email or this and that and then a long form content and short form content it doesn't do that this is kind of a one-trick pony, and from what I can tell, even though it is a one-trick pony, it does it very well. 
So I hope this uh, video gives you more information on whether or not you, you should buy it or not. But um, I find it useful within a niche audience is my, my assessment of this. Now, some critiques is they have to kind of um, speed up this, this creation process. I'm pretty sure that will be fixed later on. But, you know, th this this delay when, when you uh, submit everything, it, it's a bit uh, it's a bit slow. Okay, so just be ready for that if you do, in fact, purchase this. All right, so uh, I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit the like button as it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.